Hi everybody, welcome back to Homebrew Anthropology. I just wanted to make a short video to announce the first major project of this channel. I am currently working with LK Chen and have acquired a couple of synthetic Zen trainers. And the hopes of this project is that I will create my own interpretation of Han Dynasty swordsmanship based on the evidence that we have and hopefully use that to add to the conversation of how people fought with swords during the Han Dynasty. Now it's a very distinct point that I want to make here is that I cannot nor do I plan to claim that I have come up with a way the, uh, that I've discovered the way that people of Han Dynasty China had fought. That was 2000 to 2200 years ago. We cannot make those claims. What we can do is analyze the evidence that we have and come up with a system that works. And I hope to do that as an outsider independently in order to, or at least semi-independently, in order to come up with a personal system that works in, order, in the hopes of adding to the conversation, not to impose my finds on others, but to present them so that way they can be taken in and examined and analyzed and people can take from them what they will. But I have a couple exciting aspects to this. One, I'll be working with LK Chen, <clears throat> specifically in regards to sources. They've already provided me with a few sources concerning uh, certain descriptions uh, of fights, though not necessarily technical. We don't have any written sources that explain this is how you fight with a Tian during the Han Dynasty. There are no written sources in that regard. There are pictorial sources, uh, which have been analyzed by scholars, which I'm currently getting translated into English. And I hope to inc incorporate that into the system. There is also the archaeological evidence, and what this consists of is uh, forensics. So what kind of damage has been dealt to people? Can we associate that with swords or over, say, pole arms or daggers? And where is it being struck from? Like what attacks are being used? Are more thrusts being used? Are more cuts being used? What are we looking at in terms of impressions left on the body? The second point is impressions left on the weapons themselves. So wear and tear, chips, bends, signs of stress and trauma in the blades themselves, signs of damage. And I hope to get in contact with um, experts in experimental archaeology who have worked on this, specifically Dr. Peatfield at the University College of Dublin and who studies, who does a very similar, who approach, takes a very similar approach to the study of Bronze Age swordsmanship and I hope to get his opinion on that. Uh, but we will see um, whether or not that goes through or whether or not I have to find uh, other people to supplement uh, that aspect of the research project. And then thirdly, experimentation and just hitting people with a sword and seeing what works. That is a big aspect of it. That's going to be a big aspect of it, and that's the, probably the biggest aspect that you'll see, but I'll hopefully be able to present the other aspects of it as well. But that is essentially the project, to create a system for Han Dynasty swords that works in the hopes that it can add to the conversation uh, of answering the question of how did people during the Han Dynasty fight. Alright, well, that'll be about it. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See ya.